In this video, we're going to write a program that will convert a Celsius value to a Fahrenheit value. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to right click on the source folder. I'm going to choose New Class. Now, a couple of things you need to know. Whenever you create a new class, you should always begin your class name with a capital letter. It's not required absolutely, but it's good practice. And so I'm going to write in Celsius to Fahrenheit. I do want a public static void main method. So rather than have me type all that, I'm going to let the compiler do it for me, the IDE. And now we're started. Now, how is this going to work? Well, I have to declare two variables called Celsius and Fahrenheit. And they're going to be primitive types. They're going to have a type that's called double. Double stands for your long decimal numbers that go 15 decimal places. So first, I'm going to start with double Celsius. And I'm going to initialize it to 0, 0.0. And I'm going to have double Fahrenheit and I'm going to set that to 0, 0.0. I need to be able to read in from the keyboard, and so I'm going to import what's called a scanner object. So I type import java.util. That's the package where the scanner object is located. Notice this nice little drop-down box. That means that uh, Eclipse is trying to help me but I don't need any help, so I'm just going to type scanner with a capital S and then a semicolon. Now, let's create the scanner object. So again, there are two types in Java. One's called a primitive type. There's my double. Double is a primitive type. The other is called a reference type. And so to create a scanner object, I start with the reference called scanner. And I have to give this object a name. So I'm going to call it Reader, because that's what it does. It reads from the keyboard. And I use the following command, new scanner. And inside parentheses, I type in system.in. Now what system.in does is it connects my scanner object called Reader to the keyboard. It makes that logical connection so that it will actually read in data from the keyboard. So, what I'm going to do now is make a little print statement that says enter a Celsius value. System.out.println enter a Celsius value. And I've decided instead of print line, I'm going to use print so that when I type the value in, it's on the same line as my prompt statement. Then I'm going to say Celsius equals reader dot next double. Now that's important. Next double is a method that comes with my scanner object. And every time you type something in from the keyboard, by default, it's a string. It's just considered to be text. What next double does is it takes that text and I'm going to hopefully type in a number, and it's going to convert it to an actual decimal value. So Celsius is going to be an actual decimal value. Now I have to do the conversion. So let's talk formulas. The formula for converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit is F equals 9 divided by 5 times the Celsius value plus 32. So now I type Fahrenheit equals 9.0 divided by 5.0 times the Celsius value plus 32.0. Now let's make a print statement which prints out the Fahrenheit value. The corresponding Fahrenheit value is close my quote 
put a plus sign and then type Fahrenheit. That's going to add my Fahrenheit value to the end of the string. Then I'm going to say system.out.print program terminated. Now there are a couple of fixes that I'll be needing to make and I'll explain what they are. But before I run my program, this is what you should know. Anytime you're finished using a scanner object, you should always close the scanner object. Now this is going to be really easy. So I say reader dot close. And what that does is that disconnects the scanner object from the keyboard. You should always do that when you're finished using a scanner object. Now, when I run this, it's not going to look too pretty, and I'm going to fix that and show you how to fix that. But let's run this. So I ran my program. Enter a Celsius value. 50 degrees Celsius should be 122 degrees Fahrenheit. And it is. But notice that program terminated kind of butts up against that. So the way that we handle that is we add in the escape new line character. And I'm going to add this in again at the end. All right, let's run this again. So what is 40 degrees Celsius? 40 degrees Celsius is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Zero degrees Celsius is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That's when water freezes. And so there we go. We now have a Java class which converts Celsius to Fahrenheit. So here's the assignment. You write a class called Fahrenheit to Celsius that converts a Fahrenheit value to a corresponding Celsius value. God bless you, wherever you are today.